today was the 9th of February 2024. Let's figure out what we're going to do in the game today. I reckon I'm going to just carry on with the. <laughs> Fuck it all. Let's see. I'm going to carry on with the oil rig, the base rig. And um, I actually took a moment uh, in the middle of the day to do some designs on what would actually occupy the room. Originally I had some ideas for lots of mini little farms, but it's, I don't think it's big enough for all that shit. It's not really big enough. So I'm going to keep it quite simple. You know, chest room, maybe one or two small farms. And uh, maybe observatory spot to look out on this island as it, as it develops. But yeah, I'm not going to go as ambitious as I originally thought with this thing, just so I can actually focus on the fucking island, because that's what we're doing here. Um, Let's feed these cows. Yeah, basically today I woke up at first of all woke up at 10 and then went straight back to sleep. And then I woke up at 12. I then very stupidly uh, asked the, my dad's friend who uh, rings me up. Yesterday he told me just to call him and uh, tell him he rings me up just basically spontaneously on the day. So I was like, sure. He mentioned that he wants to do it so I thought, fuck. 12 now, I'll just ask him now, so I asked him, put on my eggs, hard boiled eggs, and then whilst I asked him, he uh, replied, says yeah let's meet up at 12.30, by now it's gone 12, and uh, I'm making my food, I'm like, oh my god, this place is like a 20 minute drive away, so, I've really been stupid with my timing, so I just said, you know what, can we make it 12.40, just so I know, uh, so I can get my parking and everything's all chill. And he's like, yeah, no problem. And, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, it's pretty silly of me to say, uh, 12.30 in the first place when I knew I wasn't going to make it. But, uh, I ended up getting there just in time. Uh, some of the, there was an unexpected traffic, uh, at the time. And that, that was a little bit stressful, but I got over it. And, uh, do I have any string? No. Lots of stone for this. Well, wow, okay. Uh. Shit. Okay. Whack that in. Do I have any stone? Yep. Cool. So yeah, um, let's go get this, let's move, it's not really going to be enough, might as well do some mining actually, this is not enough. Yeah, um, so drove to this coffee shop and uh, found some parking at this pub. Fortunately, I had to pay. Uh, figured out this fucking pay and display machine. Whacked the ticket on there. Wow, this is breaking really quickly. Uh, I'm just gonna let it break. I can't be bothered. Um, see, I whacked the ticket on there. This is not worth breaking. Whacked the ticket on there and. Um, And yeah, I mean, originally when I came out of the car park, I ran the wrong way. <laughs> I went left instead of right. Coffee shop was right. I went left, checked my phone. Like, Where the fuck is this coffee shop? Turned out it was the other way. So, uh, sure enough, he was standing outside there. Exactly the time that we said. Shook his hand, thanked him for meeting me. He, uh, he asked me what I wanted. I said, listen, you put your card away. You're meeting me for this, you know. Um, I'm paying you. are doing me the favour. To which he agreed. Um, I had a hot chocolate. I had some latte or something. And um, we didn't spend too long uh, just exchanging bullshit pleasantries pretty soon after. I said, Nate, this is why I asked you out today. Blah, blah, bash, bash, bash. And the reason why I asked him out is because I wanted him um, to uh, bulletproof like, my conversation 
uh, and make sure I'm covered or at least mentally prepared in any direction the conversation may go regarding uh, calling some some people for uh, f for my for my land business. So uh, I just wanted to make sure, like he he's in property as well. He was actually just painting one of his uh, buy to let properties that is just quiet at the moment. Somebody just moved out, so he thought he'd do some um, TLC. And um, yeah, it was a uh, what am I doing? So yeah, it was it was a lovely insight. And I said, listen, pretend like I'm calling you, and uh, what how would you, what questions should you ask, and how would you react? So he did. He played that part very well, and I, I think I've really improved my, uh, my like kind of like the diagram of a, like a, it's almost like a sales call diagram, and yeah, definitely worth it. I was very happy with what I took away. One of the main things is about getting the foot in the door is he recommended sending the letters and then calling a week after, so then say you can refer to the letter. So you're not just a caller; you're a caller that sent a letter. So it'd be like, hey, just following up on the letter that you received last week. So that means I've got to resend a lot of the letters, because um, a lot of these letters are quite old now. They've had them over a month, it, probably in the bin. And, um, yeah, I thought that was amazing. I was like, wow, that's fucking genius. That, that, that makes me like push more bulletproof in their mind, I think. Because I'm like, oh yeah, this guy sent a letter to me. He's not just a random caller. I mean, it, it's not, it's not, like, yeah. I, I think it's just an extra layer, I think. Um, and then, yeah, so, I mean... That's just a summary, but we did uh, talk a lot more about it. I also spoke to him a little bit about PT, because he was also a PT when he was my age. And uh, I said, yeah, I had my first PT yesterday, and talked through a little bit. But that wasn't the main objective. But I was very happy to see him. Um, and I was very happy to talk about this, and I was very grateful that uh, he gave me his time. And, uh, yeah, walked away with some good stuff. And uh, drove straight to my nan's, because, as I said, my boiler isn't working at the moment at our house. So I drove to my nan's with uh, some of my stuff that I'd already packed, um, expecting to go to hers for a bath and to wash my hair. Uh, I said, look, I, I wanted, to, I was going to keep my uh, my trousers on and just bend over the bath with my head and ask my nan to do it. And she did. She was not very happy about it, though, because she was going to have some friends around for a tea party. And I said, nan, can you just please wash my hair before they get here? And she was really angry, but she still did it. <laughs> um... Yeah, it was nice to finally wash my hair after after a few days. Um, kept the ear pretty dry for successfully, you know. And uh, I bought some hair dye, d not dye. I bought some hair gel uh, to put in my hair to style my hair because I'm working in the restaurant today. And uh, you know, I went for something a little different. I quite liked it. Thought it suited me pretty well. Usually I just have it to the side, but this time I had it to the side and slightly up. You know, it's pretty nice. Um, also, of course. So the two main reasons I went to my nan's to wash my hair, and also, um, I really needed uh, the bandage put back on my ear, because it, I took it off last night and it looked pretty, obviously, not presentable, and um, had that off, and uh, she usually put it back on quite well, and uh, from then just drove home, uh, I got on, because when I was uh, at the cafe with my dad's friend, um, I wrote it all down on a piece of paper, and he said write, write it down on a computer and email it to me and I'll make any changes on, on computer. So I did that, wrote it down on, on a Google Doc, and I've sent that to him now. And um, I'm going to take a copy and send it to another one of my friends as well who helps me out with this kind of thing. Hopefully just get a, a rich um, pool of experience and from other backgrounds and see how I can improve it to the max before I start sending letters out next week. So yeah, um, I haven't... I'm well aware that I haven't really been doing much action. Um, it's been all talk. I really need to do more action. I suppose that starts next week. <laughs> that starts next week. Well, I've got the weekend where I'm working the restaurant and the post the post office doesn't post anything during the weekend, so that is actually reasonable. Um, yeah, action starts next week. Yeah, that's so... Oh, fucking hell. Um, but yeah, so... After that, I had some food, uh, typed the thing out, and um, uh, yeah, had my food, and soon after that, it was time to leave. Uh, I did do a little bit of Minecrafting uh, on my test world. I was actually planning out this uh, thing just very briefly whilst watching some YouTube videos. I suppose a little bit of leisure time in the day, which I suppose I can allow. It was uh, in the middle of the day, and it's the only leisure time I got. Um, 
and uh, drove to work. And um, yeah, I was just I was just itching to see this fucking my future wife. Basically, you know, uh, I would never any any job I've ever had. I would never like push to go back. Like after a surgery, I'd probably milk it a little bit and have some time off. But I just want to go back and see this bloody girl. She's amazing, guys. And um, I saw her today, and uh, she asked me about my ear because it's a little bit more obvious now. Um, with the fucking bandage on, and I said, oh, don't worry about it, it's fine, it's not comfortable, but it's fine, and, uh, yeah, uh, as soon as I walked in, we, well, actually, I was looking for her a little bit, I couldn't find her for the first, like, five minutes, but then, we finally bumped into each other, and it just felt like the same fucking feeling again, you know, oh, God, I can't explain it without being cheesy as fuck, but, yeah, it's just... I don't know. We just bumped into each other, and I, I, th I feel like both. I mean, I think her eyes. Oh wow, I need to do this. I feel like her eyes lit up, but uh, I suppose it's kind of arrogant if I say her eyes lit up, but my eyes definitely did. I feel like hers did, and we just burst into an exciting conversation about acting in movies that we're both sort of into. She's more into it than me, but um, yeah. I'm just always up for a conversation with her. She's just the best. And, um... Yeah, so... That's kind of the only reason why I went in, you know? <laughs> but I'm so happy I did. Also, the uh, the manager today, uh, which is really sweet, um, and nice uh, nice about my ear, because she, she was just grateful for me to be in, cause she got let down for, by a few people, and she sees me with my ear, and she really appreciates... Because uh, she thinks, for me, it's like a massive chore to come in. Especially with this ear thing, but as I've said, I'm literally just there for this girl. I would go in with my arm hanging off, really, to see her, to be like, to be genuinely serious. But uh, <coughs> yeah. Okay, let's get some of this in. I'm, I want to just do like solid cut. Oh, fuck that! I'm not doing that. Okay. And. Uh, <coughs> Yeah, it's, uh, but that's really how I am, guys. Like, I'm honestly just, I was so excited to just go and see her, and I saw her, and our conversations flowed, and, I mean, I'm not sure if I'm hilarious, or, you know, uh, or if she's got a crush on me, but she was laughing a lot of what I was saying, and, um, didn't say anything about her boyfriend. She did actually talk about Valentine's Day a bit, and how that she didn't really do it. And I'm like, oh shit, that could be bad. Because if I get her something, she'll just be like, oh, what's this? But I, I don't know, I feel like all girls, um, I mean, girls def definitely are generally more romantic than boys, or they they want romance more than boys. Um, so maybe she was just saying that, because that's kind of what I, like, fucking <laughs> gaslighted my ex-girlfriend into. I was like, listen, Valentine's Day is gay, you don't need it. <laughs> And then I eventually just made her think, oh yeah, I don't even like Valentine's Day. Even when she originally did like it, and I just said, look, we're not doing it. Um, oh wait, I need to think about this. Okay, I want these pillars to have, like, water uh, elevators, so I'm going to have to close this bit off. Man, if you could use your arrow keys, that'd be so good. This is just being really awkward now. Why would I want that? There you go. Boom. That is why we use the chisel mod. I don't know why they didn't introduce this fucking block. Oh no to use my pad. I don't know why they didn't introduce this fucking block in the first place. The stairs here of this of this smooth stone, but they didn't. But don't worry, I've just invented it. And look how nicely it cuts. It literally cuts like exactly how they would skin it. That's so good. Um, I do need really need chests here. This is ridiculous. 
but yeah, um, seeing her was just everything. It always is fantastic and magical. Talking a lot about acting, and she's got some roles coming up and some auditions. And um, yeah, without going, just without going into spiraling, kind of, I do kind of repeat myself when I talk about her, but it just was amazing, as always. Um, I was only meant to work till like half ten, but as usual, I was, I was the only like runner. So uh, I was kind of needed for the whole thing. Some fucking dude, some like fucking <laughs> like posh guy, uh, came in with three of his friends for his birthday. Did some cocaine, and then uh, was sick in the toilets, all down the sink. And um, <laughs> apparently, uh, the manager went in. The manager who's a female. The manager went in, uh, looked in the sink. And then some dude opened the door to the toilet because obviously there's the ur- ur- urinals, urinals. There's the urinals, and then there's the toilet where you do a shit in behind the door. And this guy opens the door with his pants still by his ankles, being like, "Yeah, I did that. I did that." Like proudly. <laughs> so to this lady, I was like, "Oh my god!" She told me that story that made me laugh. Um. <laughs> yeah, weird guy. Um. And then that same guy shook the hand of my future wife and it, it just looked so funny it looked so funny he was just off it and uh, she got really grossed out and went to wash her hands <laughs> yeah it was really strange um, pretty chill I had two customers ask about my ear which I suppose is kind of sweet pretty hot chick as well I was like what happened to your ear were you scrapping I was like yeah I was um, and then I walked off all mysteriously but uh, yeah uh, the day Actually, the day was quite short, but it felt quite long, to be honest. The day at work felt pretty long, um, even though it was a very short day. Um, I don't really know why. You know, everybody was pretty chill. The kitchen staff were chill. Um, for some reason, I was just rolling on one today. You know, I was just everything I was saying was making them laugh. I was just I got to the point where I wasn't actually trying that hard. I was like, boom, I was just landing after landing joke, you know. It's nice. When you have days when, like, nothing lands, it's like, oh, shit, I'm not funny. But then we have days when just everything lands. I'm like, damn, maybe I should be a comedian. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I suppose it was a feel-good day today. Uh, especially when it came to clothes. We uh, all came outside for a little chat, as we usually do. And um, people talk about their favourite drinks. And when it, when it kind of got naturally got around to me, I just said... Uh, somebody said, oh no, you don't drink, do you? And I was like, no. And like, oh, wow. And w- it's interesting, guys. If you're if you're listening to this and you're younger, um, not drinking when you're like 17, 18 is like nerdy. But when you get to like 19, 20, 21, not drinking is like the coolest thing ever. Trust me, guys. Just hold out. Drinking is for homosexuals anyway. You don't need to do it. Um, seriously. You know, it's just stupid. I've, I've never drunk and I never will. It's just, you know, it's just stupid, guys. Don't do it. Um, so, yeah. I got some pats on the back. Somebody said, you've really got your head screwed on right, haven't you? And this is a... I mean, any praise that I can get in front of this girl is good, I suppose. And she was kind of just absorbing it. Like, oh, wow. <laughs> it's like, oh, wow. I guess he does have his head screwed on right. Wow. Um, which obviously is nice to be to be praised. Look, good act. Not gonna act like it went over my head. I said, oh, I don't make a blush noise. Um, and, uh, yeah, you know, we chatted away. And, um, everybody was, I mean, I was kind of, there's this one dude who, he's a sweet guy, but he's one of the guys that will talk about, he talk about violence a lot, which is a little bit strange. He's one of the guys that will say, he literally said today, when I see red, it's like, dude, shut up. That's the gayest shit. And so, like, it, when somebody like me, who knows a bit about fighting and does it as a hobby every day, you know, people in my gym and myself just laugh at people who say, I see red. It's, it's just homosexual, you know. When I see red, you know, it's just over. Just shut up, dude. You get fucking knocked out by anyone who has half an idea what they're doing. Um, so, yeah, this is the, this is the dude. Uh, he was saying this kind of shit when I see red, and uh, I was 
kind of just taking the piss. I shouldn't, I shouldn't do it really. But everybody latched on that I was taking the piss except him. Uh, he, whenever he was saying something, uh, say for example, he's going on about, oh yeah, so today in the kitchen, this guy did this. Oh, I don't know how to explain it, but I was kind of just copying him. And I was getting really close to like being obvious and he catching on, but he didn't catch on. I was getting away with it for ages. Pretty fucking funny. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I shouldn't do that. It's kind of snaky behaviour to like put somebody down for, for everybody else's comedic benefit. But, uh, I did that today. You know, it's kind of a shame to say, but, you know. Um, is this water music? Is this water music that I had when I... Oh, actually, maybe it's just regular music. I once uh, downloaded a data pack where um, I could breathe underwater and I could starve of oxygen um, outside of water. So like a fish. It was really fun. Um, I played it when I just got my new job at, uh, at the auction house. And um, it was like a new, new start, new chapter in life. And I always think that if you start a new world in a new chapter of your life, world has more of a chance of uh, you know actually carrying on and that uh, that definitely uh, applied with my Minecraft realms on bedrock which I thoroughly enjoyed playing alongside my late friend but this sign is in memory for I have the, one of these signs in all of my bases uh, me, and, me and this dude that just played the two of us on this realm I mean sometimes we had guests I've got some funny stories when we brought guests on like the Xbox uh, Xbox community, you could just invite random people to your world, and uh, we used to like recruit them for jobs and shit, man. That was my, that's my favourite Minecraft world, easily. It's crazy because somebody actually asked me, "What's your favourite Minecraft world?" The night that my friend died, and I didn't know that my friend died. I didn't hear about it until the next day. So it was crazy that somebody asked me that question. Well, I guess it's not crazy, but you know, I thought about it. I actually said to the guy who asked me, I said, you know what, I, I, I've built a lot of Minecraft, so I'll get back to you on that. And then two days later, I went back to the gym, obviously after I'd heard about it the day before. And my friend actually followed up, which was strange. Because people usually just forget about shit like that. And he said, so, did you, did you think about your favourite Minecraft world yet? And I said, oh, actually I did, mate, you know. Just, uh, just heard that one of my best mates passed away and I shared an amazing world with him that's my favourite world and that was uh, I kind of thought that everybody thought I was joking in the changing room I shouldn't have really shared that I probably made my mate uh, in the changing room feel like a bit guilty for asking I shouldn't have done that but it was, it was just hot on my mind it was just literally fresh on my mind I was thinking about it 100% of my waking hours the day after I heard about it and when he asked me it just came straight out but yeah very dramatic music playing right now. I was here for paper. But yeah, uh, I think it's the kind of... Um, yeah, so, uh, sitting around the table, I was getting really good vibes, oh shit. Oh, actually, I did bring this sack. Alright. I was getting really good vibes from the girl, and, um, she was really laughing at everything I was saying, and I actually j jokingly said, uh, because one of the guys said, when I was your age, I was surviving a car accident, and I said, oh, maybe... Since I'm your age now, maybe I'll be in a car accident tonight. And she quickly, she's like, no, you won't, no, you won't, you won't be in a car accident. And then she started touching wood, which if you don't know, is like a, I don't know, it's like something people do, touch wood, hope this doesn't happen, they touch wood. She like jumped on it, I was like, wow, okay, it's very nice of you to be that desperate for me not to die in a car crash, or get into a car crash in the first place. Um, that was pretty sweet, but I suppose that's just being nice. Um, oh no, if I put this out the side. This will stick, won't it? That's pretty cool. Um, 
Yeah, so... Yeah, I mean... I don't really have anything concrete to say, but it's just, I'm just still obsessed with this girl. So obsessed with this girl. Shit, I'll tell you what, actually, I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm so fucking obsessed with this girl. This is actually, it does worry me a lot. Like, I don't know if I can actually bear reality when we're not together. It's that fucking deep, guys, let me tell you. But I've got a cool idea for this. I have to figure it out another time. Oh no, there's like a middle. Oh, I can do the middle. Alright, let's switch this around. So yeah, basically, um, drove home. For a while I was actually behind her, which I'd never really done before. I was behind her in the car. She drives pretty quick as well. And, um, uh, you know, just drove home. Oh, shit. Just drove home, uh, got in, and uh, had some cereal. to swallow my antibiotics. I was always advised to eat with it, otherwise it would make make me shit myself basically and um and then yeah now i'm here and i don't want to spend i don't want to be too late uh because i've got some shit to do tomorrow quite early so i'm gonna call it here guys that's it